Finally got another one on. Oh, there he is. Yeah. This is a better one too, he's fighting harder. Nice. Man, this is a fighting fish. I love Shad. <laughs> Welcome back to Out There, and we are on the American River today fishing for Shad. American Shad. American, sh American Shad, my brother says. And uh, I'm running my switch rod and my brother is running his spinning gear and he caught one before I did, which is really sad. And there's a nice drift boat sitting out in the river down below us as well. So he's got one on and we're gonna see what he's got. He's been fighting it for <laughs> like two minutes already. So it's gonna be a good fish. Why do you wait for you to turn the camera on? Oh yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Oh, here he comes. So I thought he was gonna jump. If you've never been shad fishing, it's, uh, they're a, a fish that runs up out of the ocean here in the springtime, like, uh, May through about like August, the shad come up here and run on the river, and it just can be awesome fishing. Uh, they fight good, and they fight really good. They call them like mini tarpon or the American tarpon. Um, but he's been fighting this for a while. He may, maybe got a striper. That'd be awesome too. Doesn't feel like one. Here he comes. Coming in. That's, yeah, shad. definitely a shad. That's a good one too. Good size shad. Jeez. Yeah. I'm just dragging him up. Better bring a net. So. Yeah, well, don't. Yeah. And look at this fish. They're just a super fighting fish. Beauty. And he's got this little kind of orange jig with a white head, which is pretty common for, for uh, spinner fishermen. You run a, a bobber on top down to a, a, a jig and you want it kind of bouncing on the bottom. But look at this fish. These are some fighting fish, too, man. If you want to get a hold of something that's Slippery. nice in the river. That's a beautiful fish. I wanted to let him go. Yep. There he goes. And they school up in here and you'll end up with big schools of them. So uh, I'm gonna get back onto the river and see if I can catch some. Yeah, he was not too far out. Good timing. No kidding. It's so hard to take that shot and get the fish on the camera. Yeah. You know? Well, if you don't want to drag him on shore, I can it's all right. Do your pole while you can... I'll bring him up. Yeah, baby. Oh. Good. You stand where you are in the shade. The leverage that they have on this 12 foot rod, too, is just killer. That's coming a little faster than yours, dude. I don't know where he's going to You took that pink fly. Yeah. A little smaller. Yeah, he's a bit smaller than yours. You had a good one. Ah, you got... Come on. Look at these fish, man. They are just... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry. Come on. Come on. They're super strong. I can't hold on to the darn thing, but just beautiful little fish, man. And they just... They fight like the devil, so... Very nice. See you later. I'm gonna have to tie on a second pink one. Wait. Lady on the drift boat downstream has another one. Go get the pool I got here now. All right, so so you guys can see what I'm up to here. I've got this uh, 12 foot um, six weight switch rod that I actually built. Um, it's the first rod I ever built, so it's a little rough. I'm running my Teton reel here. I've got Amnesia shooting line and then behind that 
or on top of that, I've got a 275 grain OPST shooting head with a 10 foot, oh, I'm stuck on a rock, darn it. Oh. So on top of that, I've got a 10 foot T6 uh, sink tip. And then I've terminated that with 15 pound down to eight pound. And I've got these little pink flies. Hopefully you guys can see that. This is the one I'm running right now. That's what the fish hit. And I've got two of those hooked up. And this is a pretty good setup for shad. I've, I used to fish out here a lot for shad with this same rig. And it's uh, pretty effective, easy to cast, and a very nice, uh, very nice rig for fishing, this kind of fishing. So I'm gonna get out here and see if I catch more fish. I've run, I've set up with two pink ones now. Sometimes white is the color, sometimes pink. And uh, today it seems to be pink. So I'm gonna get back out on the river. I've missed two or three now, right out here in front of me, pretty close in. I've seen some roll, um, which is always a good sign. So I think that they're moving up out of the, out of the deeper water now. There's one right there. It doesn't feel like as big of a fish, but hey, can't complain. There's like a massive cloud of flies out there. Mayflies. Another one on! Oof. Such a strong fighter. And this 12-foot rod gives huge leverage to the fish. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Come here. Ah. Oh, there he goes. Perfect. Beautiful. Love it. As soon as you lose tension on the fish, a lot of time you lose them. Let's see if there's another one in that school. I got like two strikes in a row there, so. I'm actually right at my shooting head. I don't even have any shooting line out at all. Hooked up with another fish. Very good. Typical. Once you're into them, man, once the timing is right or the school is right, you could just kill them out here. This is number five for me, I think. I, well, only one to the hand, obviously. But. I could see fish rolling up in front of me too, which is a good sign. Right there too. Jeez. I got another one! Oh, he's not quite ready yet. Oof. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Don't stay out of the weeds. With a bend he's putting in my rod. Oh man, look at that. Jeez. Woo. It's gonna be a good sized shad right here. Yeah, baby. Such a fighting fish. Sweet. Come on in. All right, here he comes. Not, not quite yet. <laughs> you got to baby him a little bit because you don't want him to tear out that, that soft skin around the mouth. Come on. Here he comes. Nope, nope. <laughs> this is awesome. Such a fighting fish. Jeez, look at that baby. And they're beautiful too. Come on. Come on. That's like a, I don't know what, a two pound shad probably? 20 inches of fish. Oh, where'd he go? Did I let him go or is he still on? He's still on. Jeez, come on. 
I'm trying to let you go, don't you know? No, Milo says he got a little one. Look at that, huh? Jeez. Such a fighting fish. See you later. Thank you. Well, this is day two uh, down here on the American. I came in last night, got a couple nice shad. And this morning, uh, or it's probably almost noon now, uh, we're kind of slow about getting out of the house. But uh, I'm hunting some stripers here along the river. And what I'm using is my, I've got a Reddington CD, five weight. It's pretty light gear for what I'm doing, but it's what I brought along. So I've got a nine foot five weight Sage DS. It's an old rod, but still uh, holding up well and doing nice. And I've got this OPST integrated shooting head, which I really love. And I'm pitching some streamers out here into this calmer water. And then I'm gonna switch over and try and drift through there, see if there's some shad. Because during the day, the shad move into deeper water where they can get down below that sunlight and they don't really like it in the bright and the shallow water. And then in the evening they move up into that shallow water. So right now we're trying to work these deeper pools to see if we could pick up some shad. And then sometimes there's some stripers in there too because the stripers kind of follow the shad run up. Uh, and I think that when the, uh, the shad lay their eggs and the stripers eat the eggs and then they eat the baby shad when they come out of hatch. So we're a little early still for the normal striper run, but all the same, it can be really good fishing. So we're gonna give it a try. These guys on the raft are about to flipped over, I think. Hopefully they can hit the right section because there's one section here you don't want to go through on that big raft. Really shallow this year. Yeah, this is not going to go well. Oh no. <laughs> oh, they made it. Oh no. That's funny. They lost a guy on the mud there. <laughs> Good times. Well, that's the end of shad fishing for today. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get back out this evening, got some plans, but uh, we did get a couple last night, nothing today. Uh, there's a ton of people on the river. The water's low and clear, so I think it's kind of putting the fish down and daytime usually isn't the best for shad anyways. Although I have been successful in the past during the middle of the day, but uh, I threw for some stripers and get any of those. And uh, so it was overall just kind of a wash today, but uh, it's still a lot of fun. It's good to get out on the river and uh, there's a ton of fish out there if you could find the schools. So uh, until the next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you again on out there.